Maybe. Okay. I'm good. I want to ask you a question. Are you ready? Very ready. Okay. Well, guys, let's greet these people. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Faith Life Love, with Bolindi Steven and Mr. Steven Sabe. Okay. So, I want to ask you. Sorry, hi, guys. Sorry, I just did like this. <laughs> Are you in some I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Um, so God told me I should marry you. That's what God told me. Wow. Well, okay, I'm already married. But okay, seriously, we get this directive a lot in the church, right? Mm -hmm. God told me I should marry you, blah, blah, blah. And I want to know what you think about it. So your brother come, walks up to his sister. Oh, his sister walks up to your brother. Mm -hmm. I said, God told me I should marry you. And they've come to you for counseling. Ah, okay. Um first of all, it's not um it's not wrong that God would have spoken to somebody concerning his spouse. Okay. Whether a man or a woman. Um God has always spoken to people about things. So okay. it is not first of all, it is not out of place. Um however I think the problem is that people have abused what that means mm. people have taken it as a weapon to forcefully grab things that they want because you know by the time i come to you and say god says you should give me one thousand naira, you feel ah it's god shall mm. let me not let me shall god. obey you know let me not disobey god let me just obey mm. you know so many times that is it another thing also is 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 a self deceit because I want something. The only way for me to validate that I want this is to tell myself that God said it. Yeah. So, so, so these are the these are the variants, and maybe there could be more. Why people will usually come up with that statement that God said I should marry you, <laughs> and um, so maybe let's just touch these three things. Number one. It is very possible. Uh, so let's leave the it is very possible. Those ones I don't think we have an issue with them. Let's go to the ones that are not usually right. First of all, if you and let's say edit, <laughs> if you go deep and ask these people questions, you will not hear them say, God told me I should sow this seed into somebody's life. You will not hear them say, God told me to come and pay you a visit. You will not hear so them you will not hear them say. <laughs> God said I should buy this book and give, and give it to you. Yes, I don't know sir. why, but I just feel strongly God has led this in my heart to come and give you this book. Or record. God has asked me to buy this dress for you. Mm. Or God just said I should pick this phone and call you. Dress yeah, I have bought many dresses already for you, but I'm sure he's going to tell me some more that he's going to, tell, to buy for you. You know, so if you check, they don't have a track record of God telling them anything. Yeah. And they want to jump and say, God said, you are my wife. Right. How do we, how can we validate that? How are we sure? And we can test it and prove it. Why? Question. Ask them questions. They will not even be able to explain when and how and the several times God told them to do anything. Mm. You know? So it's very important for folks to know that God will not just jump from the blues and tell you certain things and there's no continuous let's even say that's the first time god is talking to you about his spouse hmm. let's assume for abraham for example we didn't hear of god talking to abraham before the call of abraham but what happened after the call we had several encounters yeah. so those people that is the first and that's the last that's the only <laughs> so that's that's another problem in itself yeah so we don't see like you mentioned track record and we don't see God continuing telling to them, to them about, about other things. even not even other things, even the marriage, even the relationship itself. Uh, Has God told you buy ice cream today and take to her? Ah yeah yeah. Has God told you tomorrow is her birthday or next week is her birthday? I think this is what you should do. And mm. we think that God will not tell you. If God can tell you about his spouse, you tell you about other things about that spouse. Mm. God has told you, okay, you guys are going to be doing this. If you check for context, for instance, I think it's something I should also introduce. 
when God tells you about a spouse, he's, that's not the first thing usually he'll tell you. He'll tell you about an assignment. Because his spouse is not just coming to fulfill fleshy desires only. Yes. There's an assignment that that union is going to form or is coming to, to, to fulfill. So has God said anything about the assignment? Because there's no assignment, there's no need for a spouse. Hmm. Ah, Once there's, there's no assignment, assignment, there's no need for a spouse. That's, a, that's another topic entirely. So usually when people tell me, ah, God said, I'm not in a hurry to approve it. I want to test it. Test all spirits. Exactly. So it's important, ladies especially, because it comes from guys. Especially. Especially. But yeah. it actually comes both ways. Yes, I know, definitely. But if you look at oh, the no. majority, maybe yeah. even the females are here, it's keep it to their heart. But the guys are ready to use it to really say it. Yes. And then when they use it, tomorrow again they meet another lady. God said, they meet another and God said, Come on, how many times would you would you embarrass my God? <laughs> you know. So so I, I, I think that those are the Issues around God said you are my wife. So, um, have you ever had that kind of experience? Because I have, and guys, if you want to hear my gist, say it in the comments, and I will gist you in another video of God said I should marry somebody, mm -hmm. and I'm not married to the person, long and short. <laughs> so, if you want to hear that gist, just put it in the comments, I will say it here. But my, I say that to say there's another angle to it where. Even if God actually said it, mm -hmm. God is the, the God is an author of confusion. Exactly. So this other person is totally repulsed by you, you know, and you are trying to force your agenda. If God really said it, then let him talk to me too. Absolutely. Because I believe that God will be leading you to another child of his. Exactly. You know, also another fast way is to check. If it's in line with the word of God, mm -hmm. you know, don't go and say Yahuzah. God say, <laughs> you understand? That's that's so, really... so, somebody said that there's not going to be another Messiah <laughs> because Loud that it. was a particular message God was trying to drive home. He was trying to show us how much He loves us, don't shut us and He has shown so... He already shown us the height of. How far he can go by dying on the cross. Yeah. There's no another cross that Jesus wants to die on. There was to die. There's no any shadow you want to forecast. He has become the reality. The shadow has ended. Yes, sir. So there's no more shadow. So there's no Messiah that is coming again. Because <sighs> the finality of the shadow has come in the person of Jesus Christ. Let's just do it here. <laughs> Before the tables of people are on, we just break down. Um, so yeah, uh, I think another angle, what I was saying about mutuality, mm -hmm. you know, if God is speaking to you, the other person, being his child, should also be spoken to. Exactly. So I think even if, like you said, it's very possible. So let's go on the premise of God actually told you to marry somebody. Yeah. Now, you don't force it on the person. Okay. You know, you don't force that God told me to marry me, you must marry me. Yeah. You give the person the space. In fact, you go into prayer for that person to receive it exactly. and receive it well. Exactly. You know, exactly. so that you are not just coming to force a one-sided relationship and then that person feels obligated or feels, um, what's the word? Coerced. Coerced into a relationship. And oftentimes you find that it happens between, no disrespect to men of God, but it often happens between somebody that is, in quotes, spiritually superior. That's what so, it's a great form. That yeah. Do. So if, if you're my spiritual mentor or you're my spiritual father, or even the other way around, let's say I'm a lady and you're my new convert, mm -hmm. and I want to marry, you know, and I know I'm discipling you, so you will readily take what I say is from God. Absolutely. So instead of that, allow the person to come into such relationship that the person can either hear from God mm -hmm. or um, get confirmation in their own ways Absolutely. that this is also the will Absolutely. of God. Do you want to say something? Yes. Um, let, let me also add um, that usually when God tells you something and the manifestation of that thing is usually a time. Hmm. Even though when God spoke to you, he spoke to you like everything was gone. Yeah. Do you understand? He speaks and then he backtracks. Exactly. So there's usually a time lag mm. between when you heard and when it is manifested. And 
what happens between when you heard and what's manifested can determine whether that thing God said will come to pass or not. So you need wisdom, wisdom. That's what I was going to say in next. approaching the woman. Yeah. You need I, I didn't see Adam say, Ah, God gave you to me, oh, you are God my wife. You from me, come here. Do you understand? Adam did not bring that narrative. What did Adam say? Adam said, No, this is now bone of my bone. This is flesh of my flesh. Maybe we'll leave that for another day. Even to talk about Buddha. that. Do you even understand? Buddha. So even if even God said, sorry, I caught mm-hmm. you babe. So even if God said, which is what my husband is talking about, wisdom on how to approach it, mm-hmm. you might never even have to say exactly. God said. Exactly. Or say maybe on your wedding day. That's exactly. a baby. You know, God actually told me. Exactly. You or, know, you know, when you're further down. Absolutely. So it's very important that as brothers, especially, let me speak to brothers especially, that when God has impressed in your heart that this lady is your wife, don't go and tell her God said. She's not going to hear you. And you'd have ruined what God wanted to do with both of you. And it may take longer to fulfill than what God wanted it to fulfill. If God wanted it, for instance, to happen in a year, you may have scattered that because you'd be turned off by that. So if God intended, for instance, that this should happen in a year, mm-hmm. Because you went off the wrong way, you have first of all turned that person away from you. Yeah. That person is most likely going to go and find another relationship mm. and waste their time. Mm. And you see, you are the cause of them wasting their time. <laughs> because you didn't apply wisdom, wisdom and knowledge in approaching it. There's a way to approach a woman. Mm. There's a way to come to somebody. So in terms of relationship and marriage, when God tells you something, find a way. You have to now you have to, how to go become about you have to even become some of them you've not even you don't even know them from anywhere and they want to just come and excuse me because I told you what and unfortunately some sisters will tell you let me pray about it and that's the end of the matter yeah you know so it's important that you understand how to find a way of coming close to that person find a way of understanding who this person is if god opens your eyes to see the reality of this person will you still agree that god spoke to you about the person mm. because you don't even know who this person is you don't know her character, you don't know what she's been through, you don't know where she's going, nothing. All what is pushing you is God said. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's true, God said, but you have to seek how to approach her. Find out what are her issues, find out what does she love, find out what are her preferences in life. You know, just try to have a platonic relationship. You, you already know what is in the back of your heart. So you are coming with a strategic chase. Mm. By the, time, chase. by the time you swept her off her feet, that is when she also realized that God spoke to her. <laughs> my late friend said, one of my late friends I met in NYC said something. He said, Peter, it's not enough to see her or to see them. They must also see you. Mm. Because if both parties don't see, there's going to be a drag, there's going to be a delay. So both parties should see each other. And even when you come and tell them, oh God said, allow them. To be convinced in their hearts that they should go with you where you are going to. Yeah. I think it's also foolish when they blindly follow you because they will put unnecessary strain on you. Mm. Shame that you talk to God talk. Yeah, Let, you so know, everything that everything happens is on you. will be on you. So you also need them to come, come to the to point the where they are convinced that we can go this journey. And that's why if you come to and tell her, I like you, I like to get married to you. But I'll give you some time to think about it. Don't tell her to pray about it. Tell her to think about it. And let her come back to you she with words. She will have to pray about it, definitely. <clears throat> but as much as possible, keep it as basic as possible. Don't compl- Don't make this marriage thing complex. Like, like they are going to go and dig gold out of the ground. It is gold. It is gold, definitely. But simplify it. Don't complicate it. I think that's just what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Then, so let me say one thing before I forget. I think you also introduced something very important where, for instance, those higher will come down to those lower and say, God said, for instance, disciples to, decide to their disciples, mentors to their mentees, because we have those kind of relationships. I think I heard of a story of someone who was going to disciple, sorry, he was her lesson teacher. And God had impressed him inside that this was his wife. But guess what? All he did was to intensify his lesson. lesson that he's doing. He ensured that she became an excellent student. Yeah. And when he when time was when, when the time was full and he came to the parent and said, I want to marry, there was no hesitation. Mm. Both from her and from the parent. Why? 
They saw genuineness in the work he had done in this life. Mm -hmm. So he didn't come off because if he had come immediately to tell her, you're my wife, he would have ruined the possibility yeah, yeah. of what would have happened. Number one, she wouldn't even listen to him as a teacher. Yeah, she'd be looking at him as toaster. As toaster. Meanwhile, you are there to teach her lesson, not to toaster. Mm -hmm. So part of your, that's even when you begin to learn how to culture your wife. He knew, man, I'm here to culture my wife. I'm going to raise the best woman for myself. Give her the best. So just imagine God tells me, you're my wife. And maybe you're in the same department. I'll focus on helping you that you excel as I'm excelling. Then I'll come and tell you, babe, I'll find out. I like you. You, you. Part of the reason, part of the things that will help you to agree with me is that this guy genuinely likes me. Mm. Because he has helped me become something. So, so I think that that's something I just wanted to add. And I just want to speak um, on if you believe that God honestly says this person is your spouse, you need to ask God, like we said about wisdom, right? Then don't start doing tinini tanana. You might need to take time away from unnecessary like relationships. Mm -hmm. If you believe, oh, you are the one that say God say. So why are you hour. exactly? Because some people are telling five people God say. Wow. So obviously we already know that God did not say. Or some people are saying God say, but they're having backup plan. Mm. So did God really say? Wow. So you need and then even without God say, when it comes to commitment in relationship, we should be able to it might not always be easy, but we should try and keep commitments and all of that. And like our mentor says, a marriage made in heaven can fail on earth if wisdom is not applied. Absolutely. So even if God ordained, like babe, during a long we're cutting, we broke up shape. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to hear the gist? It's inside one of your videos. Now. We didn't talk about like the actual breakup. Uh, we just mentioned it the way we are mentioning. Maybe one day. But now we know that God approves of our marriage. Mm -hmm. But if we had continued to act in foolishness as we did. Would have gone our separate ways. Absolutely. So I say that to say that some people, God says, I should marry you, right? The person actually agrees because the person also gets the conviction. Let's yeah. say it's real. God actually said so. Then you enter the relationship and then you, you stop. Mm. You see, like, God says, I should marry you. God says, I should marry you. We are now in the relationship. You're not trying to take care of her or him. You're not talking. You're not doing things you should do in a courtship. You're not spending time with each other. You're not trying to know the person. You're not trying to understand the person. You believe that because God said, I should marry you, we must work. You forget that you are both humans. Yeah. And if you don't in add intentionality and wisdom, even though God said I should marry you, and God actually did say this is your wife or your husband, you will break up. Absolutely, you will. And you will break up so well, yeah. and the old church will laugh at you. Because, every, because those are the kind of relationships everybody knows. Ah, God say I should marry him from the day I saw. And then people now start to doubt God. Exactly. We because give, our we actions. Exactly. We give, we now start making God look like a wrong matchmaker. Meanwhile, it was our own foolishness or lack of wisdom. So God said I should marry you on the basis that it is actually true when it is. What's next? Go back to God. You must always go back to God. If the person is not agreed, go back to God. If the person has agreed, go back to God. Yeah. What next? Okay, the person is not agreeing God. Do I move on or do I stay? Okay, the person has agreed. How do we grow this? You know, basically. So, thank you for answering my question. Anytime. Anytime. And, yeah. God said I should marry you. <laughs> all right guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video and click the notification bell and share with somebody share with that person that told you that god said they should marry you i think you should and that your friend that told you that they say that god just share with everybody in your contacts all right guys till next time bye bye guys oh. What is it cooking? Mm -hmm. Like I don't look like I'm doing this far. Okay, turn off the gas.